So, this is going to be a really random story time, but I'm <laughs> actually I was just reminded of it today. So, hello, welcome to Zen Talks. This will be a short episode, but it will be a preview of what the next big episode is going to be, and it's about drama. Now, just now I recalled the being a little bit of drama in a Discord server I was in that I caused. Well, not exactly. You know, I like being silly, you know? Very silly. Not me being goofy. I. So silly. I love her. You know? I. Um. There was this one person that had a weird hyperfixation with cars and trains, especially with cars. No, not the movie, the franchise. No, actual cars. Nothing wrong with being autistic. I mean, I'm autistic myself, but you know, you do you. But that was not the problem. Them being a furry is not a problem either. I don't care about that. Good for you. <clears throat> the thing is, they made a joke that could seem transphobic, but it wasn't transphobic, that joke. And I said, wow, you are so transphobic as a joke response. But two of my friends were curious. They started to investigate that person's old message. That person is the one obsessed with cars, remember that? And they searched up old messages of him on Discord. And ooh, ooh, little did I know that the tr that me calling them transphobic was actually true so yeah that is um awkward but you know things i just speak things into existence like my crush will love me in five minutes he will text me in five minutes no i really just spoke it into existence or brought light to it so yeah, there was this whole drama and the person got kicked out of the server as he should because he said the T slur repeatedly. Not only that, also making other transphobic remarks. So yeah, not exactly something I would want to an apology from, especially since the messages are so recent. And somehow they, they weren't investigated for that for some fucking reason but that was probably because they were so irrelevant and they were more known for their car fetish i mean hyperfixation we support uh, so yeah i'm the reason why they got exposed you know it's kind of a good thing like being a causer of drama i've caused drama before i'll speak about that later but you know it's insane how I can cause all this by just making a little funny joke. And you know, the person that was called out started feeling very depressed and was like, oh, I'm so sorry, please. How can you forgive me? Then, uh, then I was like, um, okay. Then he was like, I don't know how to be able to move on I cannot know how how can I move on how can I delete discord then I gave them a full-on tutorial on how to delete discord and their fucking account so like I was insulting them even further by joking about them so like yeah you should probably be able to tell by now that I don't give a shit about how this fucking guy feels I think he should be off the internet but you know what you know the reason why I'm making this? I saw him commenting under a post just f this day, today, on a video. Ma'am, you out here making Beyonce see a basement jokes? No, honey, I'm gonna see you and call you out. And I'm calling you transphobic queen because that's what you are. Like, Come on now, 
Don't show your intern don't show yourself on the internet knowing damn well that your past on this court won't be traced back to you. Remember that the internet never forgets, especially when someone like me, someone like me is going to bring it to fucking light, okay? Now, that is sort of the drama that I recalled. But that's kind of the taste of the next Zen episode. Zen Talks episode. So, I would like to tell you that the next Zen Talks episode will be all about drama caused by me again. Thank you for watching. <laughs>